what if I told you that city mayors are now asking for citizens to put migrants up in their personal homes? What would you think of that? Well, this is not a joke. This is what city mayors are actually doing at this time. I will address why that is a massive problem, what they are actually considering, and what is on the table at this time, because what is happening right now is absolutely shocking. And you will wanna hear this in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So many cities right now are really struggling. They're trying to figure out how they're gonna balance their budget in order to allow more migrants into their city without taking away from some of their residents, like closing down parks, getting rid of law enforcement officers, getting rid of first responders, closing schools, and so much more. But what's happening right now is these mayors and some state governors are asking for the residents of that state, the residents of that city, to help out. Do what you can. Just look at this. Here's a couple examples. Mayor Eric Adams, he's floating the idea for New Yorkers to house migrants in their private residence. That's in New York. Well, it doesn't stop there. In Denver, Denver is pleading with property owners to rent to migrant newcomers. Says the city wants residents to house the illegal immigrants as, it clo as it's closing several shelters to save nearly $60 million. It's closing several shelters not opening up new ones. The concern right now is there's not enough shelters, but yet they have to close some because they don't have the money. This is all gonna come, come down to money. Well, it's not just New York and Denver though. It's happening all over the place. For instance, in Michigan, it says Michigan asked residents to help house and settle migrants amid the crisis at the border. It says volunteers, would be expected to support newly arrived refugees by greeting them at the airport and securing and preparing initial housing. So in this case, it's not necessarily you're gonna put up your house, but you need to be the one that goes out there and secures housing for some migrants. They will then come in and they will live there. But it might be on your dime. It might be backed by your credit card, right? These are things that you're gonna to have to live with. But that's where these mayors and these governors are coming out and saying, well, we're doing all we can. All we're asking is for residents to step up so that we do not have a line of homeless people outside of a shelter every single night. Now, here's where things get very interesting. This was mentioned a couple years back. This is something that we've seen uh, brought up multiple times. But just look at this right here. It says New York City suggests housing migrants in the jail sheltered after the Jeffrey Epstein suicide. Says Mayor Eric Adams has struggled to find housing for an estimated 100,000 migrants who have arrived in the city since last year. You know what's crazy about this story? This story is not from today. It's not from March. It's not from you know February or January or December. Not from November or October or September. It's actually from August 18th, 2023. This is months ago. So Governor Eric Adams was talking about this and he, I think first brought this up in like March or May of 2023. But this story is from August 18th, 2023. So several months ago. So where do we stand with housing migrants and what are we looking to do? Well, here's the idea. According to multiple reports, there is an idea floating around. I want to read this, okay? It says, we will house migrants in correctional facilities, aka jails. It says, we would allow migrants to work within the facility, okay, and they would be supervised by facility workers in order to make some money. Why would we do that? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, it would give migrants work because based off what the Biden administration has said, they're allowing migrants to get an expedited work permit. Okay, so they are being supervised and they're working within a correctional facility. 
Now, they're not going to get paid what inmates are getting paid. They're also not going to get paid what the facility workers are getting paid. They will get minimum wage. Okay? They would get minimum wage. That would be it. So they would have a little bit of money that they could use and eventually save and, and start putting that towards something to move out of those correctional facilities. It would also save the facility money. Now, here's the other thing. The reason why this was brought up is because uh, many people have been asking for additional space. Can we use schools? Can we use churches? Can we use community centers? Can we use, uh, you know, courthouses, right? Which I thought was absolutely shocking somebody would bring this up, but can we use a courthouse? And, and house migrants in the courthouse? The next one is, can we use jails? And the answer is yes. There's been a lot of discussion and yes, there can be uh, migrants that are living in jails, but these people are free to go whenever they want. Here's the interesting part about this. There are, the reasoning for this is because according to reports, there's many uh, correctional facilities all throughout the United States that again are being uh, paid for, subsidized uh, by the federal government. So a lot of these correctional facilities that are you know, in operation, some of them do not use all their space. They have so much unused space. And so because of this, they are now considering taking those uh, correctional facilities and turning those into migrant housing. I know there's a, a few correctional facilities here in, in uh, Washington State that are, I don't believe they're operational or they're, they still have you know, small operation, but they're large facilities. They're looking at moving those people out of those facilities into a, a different one, and then taking that entire facility and using it for migrants. I wanna know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is the, the best way to move forward? And the reason I ask you this is because many mayors and many governors are, are asking this exact same question. How do we keep people in our city, in our state, but give them housing? provide them with a, the ability to work, give them the ability to educate their family or themselves. All I can tell you right now, they're asking questions. The good news is they're asking questions. The bad news, it's when these mayors and these governors stop asking questions, stop getting uh, some input from uh, state representatives, from uh, you know, residents, and then they just start passing things on their own. They start saying that, well, the residents don't want homeless people in their city. So instead of having homeless people, we're gonna take taxpayer dollars and we're gonna fund these different programs where that's not necessarily what the residents said, but that's what the mayor or the governor heard. So all I can tell you right now is be ready. Be ready because millions and millions of migrants are about to start moving into you know, different cities. They'll start moving into the suburbs. They'll start moving into uh, potentially a correctional facility, a church, a school, right? Could even be the basement of a hospital or a clinic. This is what we're about to see. So be ready. But all I can tell you right now is this is what's gonna happen. This is not a guess. This is what we're already seeing. But the expectation is as more and more migrants start to enter into the United States, as these months get a little bit warmer, Officials say, and experts are warning, that we're gonna have a massive surge here in the United States, and it could be even worse than December of 2023, where we saw over 300,000 migrants enter the US. So, as we get more information on this, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates, but that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next 